Chris Ormsby here to talk to you today about eCauseway's two water filtration systems for drinking water. And we have two options. We've got one that's an all self-contained gravity fed um, water filtration unit that will both clean up your water and then remineralize it so that it's slightly alkaline and also is full of the healthy minerals that tend to make water healthier for our bodies according to many experts. So this one works by simply adding water to the top. You just pour water in the top here and it filters down through a six stage filter that sits inside of this water storage chamber here and then it dispenses out the front of the unit right there. So this is a nice unit for people that are renting apartments, college kids, anybody that wants the portability. I also suggest to people that they get um, an optional ceramic cartridge that's on the inside here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that will allow you to use this unit to filter out also bacteria, viruses, um, Girardia, that kind of thing. So if you needed to use this unit for emergency purposes, like if the water, city water quits working, this should make your water safe to drink um, when you put it through this unit. So I suggest to people that you buy, if you want to go with this unit, that you buy that extra ceramic cartridge. And sometimes if people are concerned about that sort of emergency preparedness, I suggest that they get this unit as well as this unit if they decide to buy the um, constant flow unit that hooks to your sink. So this is what we call our Hexagon Spring Fresh. This unit retails for $135 and as a new member, um, or as a member I should say, either a VIP shopper or an independent business owner, you can get this unit as a special set for $99. The extra ceramic cartridge is basically $10, I think it's $9.90. Alright, next we have the Hexagon Spring Fresh. I'm, I'm sorry, this was the Hexagon Spring Fresh. Cut. Okay, next we have the Hexagon Alkaline Hydrogen Water Filtration System. This unit is designed to hook up to your sink. I don't know if you can see that there, but this has got a diverter on it. So I can turn my sink on and I have water flowing like normal here. When I turn the diverter up, I'm sending the water through this tube into the unit for a second. You can see that the inlet to the unit is right here on the side and so you can set this unit wherever you'd like. It's kind of handy to put it next to a sink. When I open the top here, this is a valve, so the water is going to start flowing because remember I have the water on over here. If I shut the water off, it's going to take a little drink here. Um, it's going to stop flowing. When I turn the faucet back on, because I have the diverter up, the water is going to start flowing again. But I can shut it off right here. This is a valve. This is a valve. This is a valve. So, again, I can switch between the sink and the water filtration unit right there. And I can turn the unit on. It will store pressure. I suggest you don't leave the pressure sitting on the unit. Um, this unit's a little easier to show what's going on in the filtration than that one. That one has similar filtration components inside of it, but it's all in one big cartridge. By the way, on the Spring Fresh unit, the cartridge is designed to last for 1,800 liters. Now that's going to vary as far as a time frame for you, but typically that would be anywhere from six, to, you know, six months to a year, probably an average of about nine months, and those filters cost $65 on the Spring Fresh unit. Okay, now on the inside of the hexagon alkaline hydrogen unit, we can see that we've got a bunch of different filters in here. And they're numbered. Actually, this is filter one, this is filter two, this is three, and this is four. And I'm going to get my little cheat sheet out here that shows these filters in a sequential line. And if you look at the plumbing, the water does actually flow through them in this order. So the first filter is number one, and it has a ceramic 0.3 micron ceramic cartridge on the outside where the water first hits. And that does, again, your primary filtering of larger solids, um, you know, minerals. If you've got well water or something, it would gather the high, you know, the bigger iron particles and such right there on that ceramic outer filter. 
and this would actually turn orange. You can clean that, by the way, by taking this cartridge apart. It comes with like a big toothbrush looking unit and you can clean that filter off. This filter is designed to last for 6,000 liters or approximately two years. Now on the inside of that ceramic filter there's activated carbon granules as well as a chlorine removal media. So this is designed to knock out all of your organic chemicals in the water including your chlorine. It's going to knock down your fluoride. We, this unit will not remove 100% of the fluoride. It'll knock it down between 50 to 80% depending on the overall chemical makeup. So it makes a substantial difference, but it won't take it all out. Um, from filter one, after we've knocked out all of the nasty stuff in the water, we bring it over to cartridge number two. And this alkalizes the water and causes it raises the pH of the water. This unit will produce water that's between 8.5 to 10 on the pH scale. Typically mine tests out at between 9 and 9.5, and which is a nice safe everyday drinking level for um, alkaline water to give your body some assistance in its fight against our acidic lifestyles, which include coffee, beer, soda, cook food, etc. So most of the things that we like and eat and enjoy in life tend to cause an acidic um, drain on our body, if you will, and our bodies know how to compensate for that. But our bodies have to work to compensate for that. So by drinking alkaline water, the theory is that it aids our body in that process and makes it easier for us to be healthy in all the other ways because our body isn't spending so much energy fighting off um, the acidic lifestyle influences that we have. So alkalinity is very key and important. But another interesting point about alkalinity that's worth discussing is this water can act like an antioxidant in your body. And the reason is that it has extra hydrogen stored in the water. Now you might be thinking, well, water is H2O. How do you get an extra hydrogen in there? Well, you basically cannot unless you add minerals. Therefore, this unit is adding minerals to your water. This is making a, what they would call in traditional typical heart you know water terminology hard water because it's got a lot of solid mineral content inside of it when it comes out of this unit but this is a healthy hard water not an unhealthy hard water and there are differences so you know if if you talk to a um, RO water salesman they're going to tell you that you don't want any dissolved solids in your water now if you believe in drinking RO or distilled water that is true that's pure water this is not pure water, this is enhanced water that has healthy minerals in it for our bodies. In doing so, it raises the pH of that water, thus alkaline water. Now why is that good? Some people believe we absorb the minerals from the water, some people believe we do not, that we only get them from food. I honestly do not know, but I know that it, it's adding the extra alkaline influence to my body, it's adding the extra hydrogen into my body. And what does that do? Well, when we breathe, we create what they call reactive oxygen species, which is a singlet oxygen that is positively charged and it wants to go react with something inside of our bodies. And that reaction is typically not a good one. So that's why they tell us to take antioxidants, things like vitamin C, vitamin E, etc. The extra hydrogen in alkaline water acts like an antioxidant in your body. So that's great you know we should probably all be drinking alkaline water if you you know believe in all of that which I do so this unit will produce that there's other units on the market out there that will produce alkaline water many of them use what we call electrolysis they put a plate inside of the water and they charge that with electricity which causes the the metals and the minerals inside of those plates to jump off into the water that does produce alkaline water is it as good as this water or better? I don't know for sure, but according to my experts, this is a much better, more stable method of producing alkaline water because we're using the traditional ion exchange, similar to when water is bubbling up through the earth in a spring, coming down out of the mountains in a stream. It's interacting with the minerals and the rocks as it's traveling in motion. That's what this is doing with traditional ion exchange water filtration methodologies. The third stage of this filter is just more like a traditional um, ion exchange water softening process, 
that is adding in additional calcium and magnesium to the water because we need those minerals and that's the mix that makes this water so stable. They've modeled this water after the water that they found in the miracle springs of the world, which tends to be high in alkalinity and small in molecular cluster size. What's molecular cluster size, you might be wondering? Well, H2O never exists by itself in Mother Nature. It's always bound up with other H2Os in a molecule cluster. Some people believe that those clusters are um, influenced by people's thought even, that they can store memory and that they remember everything that they've ever encountered until they're cleansed. This unit will actually take care of that. Some people do not believe that. But regardless, the concept is that H2O is never by itself. It's always with a bunch of other H2Os. Now tap water comes out of the tap with approximately 40 to 80 H2O's bound together in one big molecule cluster and I would suspect that's because of all of the chemical bonds and stuff in the water with the chlorines and the things like that um, but I really don't know I'm not a chemist <laughs> so what this unit does to cause smaller molecular size two things one I think just plain filtering the water is probably going to give you a smaller molecular size because again you're going to break out those bigger solids that are allowing the H2O to glom on. So stage one is going to give you a little bit smaller molecular size, I would speculate. Stage two with the alkalinity, I'm not really sure, but again, probably because when you first start adding the minerals in, again, the water is going to bind up with those minerals in what I would suspect would be smaller clusters around the minerals with their various ionic behaviors. Um, same thing in number three. Now, cartridge number four is what we call our mineral composition filter, and it infuses the water with ionic minerals and trace elements such as iron, magnesium, zinc, calcium, sodium, potassium, manganese, etc. So again, it's making the water more mineral rich, improving the taste, making it a little bit sweeter. It's also got what we call far infrared um, media in there, which adds extra negative ions. In another way of thinking of it is it adds energy to the water. So that is also supposed to cause a smaller molecular cluster. So this is this unit delivers water that's got a small molecular cluster of five or six H2Os bound together which is more easily absorbed into our body. Now our water I think per my research is more stable because of what I explained about the electrolysis versus the ion exchange. Plus, we have a little device, I don't know if you can see it here, it's called our energy activating device. And it spins the water through a tiny vortex. Now, some people may tell you that they don't believe that that has any effect on the water. Again, I don't know, I'm not a quantum physicist, so I'm not certain, but according to my understanding of quantum physics, it makes total sense to me that that could actually store, in essence, static energy or extra um, activity within those water molecules as far as additional electrons or energy in some fashion that will cause it to be more life-giving. The concept at a very basic you know, level is that you want water that's moving, that's in motion, and when we put our water into tanks and pipes and canals and ditches, we straighten it out, we deaden it in ponds. If you think of a, a frolicking stream in the mountains and a stagnant pond, I mean, that's a real basic, simple description. It's kind of like when the oxygen and the life force leaves the water, you get the stagnation in that kind of gross looking water. Um, you know, I'm not saying that this is exactly the same, but the concept makes sense to me that you want energetic uh, motion in your water and so we have this energy activating device in ours which is a patented or a patent pending device I'm not sure um, that's been tested and supposedly is just as effective as the big machines that do the same thing that cost hundreds of dollars um, and then the final stage I kind of alluded to it earlier in the, the molecule clusters they have the ability supposedly according to people like Dr. Emoto, a Japanese scientist who studied water and also water and rice and he's loved, ignored and hated different flasks of water and stuff and studied the results and they've been pretty amazing results according to his research. Again, I can't verify that, but it's very interesting 
And one of the concepts that's clear in the research on water is that a magnet will cleanse the memory of the water. So supposedly it will break up again or somehow erase the memory patterns of the molecule cluster. So maybe you believe it, maybe you don't. It might help, it, might, it you know, definitely won't hurt. So there's a magnet ring up here that the water passes through. So it'll pass through the magnet to make it clean, safe, healthy, mineral-rich drinking water. And so that is our hexagon alkaline hydrogen water filtration system. And this unit retails for $580, but as a member of eCauseway, either a VIP shopper or an IBO, you can get this unit as a special set for only $380. So this is an incredible value for this water unit. There are units that I alluded to, the electrolysis units that make alkaline water that can start at um, about $1,500 and go up to as high as $4,000. So I beg you, please take a look at this. This is uh, good for you, good for your health, good for your family, good for a friend, um, an excellent value on a water unit. Take a look.